so to do text, if I wanted to put some, uh, some letters to cut out in this box I made, uh, you'll click on this T button right here, your text button. You see it's going to pop up some text. Um, you're going to click on the point of where you want to place that. Click enter or the green check mark to accept it. Then you're going to come here, click on the text again. You click on this yellow dot right here and click and drag that to make that right side up. The blue dot will move it. Then you'll see you got your parameters here on the right hand side of the screen. We come in here and uh, change what the text says. And move it back down to position. Once you're here, you can change the font style. You can change the size of your letters. You can change if you want it bold, italic. Um, if you have a marker, you could tell it to etch the part instead of cut it. Um, but from this point, I'm good with, with how that sits. So I'm going to click the green check mark or enter to accept that. And then you click the escape button to get out. Um, once this is where you want it, you have your font selected, uh, you have the letters, the size you need, you're good with where it's sitting. What you want to do to make this a workable piece is select your text, and we're going to click this explode button. Um, exploding it, it, basically it thinks like the letters are a solid object, and we're going to explode to make a workable piece. So you click explode, uh, then you'll click the enter button or green check mark to apply it, and you have your unshaded letters now. So we can trim them, we can move them around, we can um, add bridges to it. So the next step from here, you can see I have a lot of really tiny lines making these arcs. Uh, you have a arc fitting tool. So if you look at the very right hand side of the ribbon, um, we have this button right here, arc fitting. Uh, it's going to pop up uh, a, t a parameter on the right hand side of the screen. You can see a blue line kind of going around your part. The more you increase this tolerance, the more it's going to try and curve those lines into uh, those straight lines into an arc. Uh, usually about uh, one to three thousandths is good enough. Uh, so we'll do, just do one thousandths. Um, then you're going to click the green check mark to apply that. And you can see when I highlight my letters again, they're a whole lot smoother. So you'll, it'll help you get better motion and better cut out of those letters. Um, if I was cutting this out of the square, I would have to bridge the A and the R so they don't just fall through and give me a big open space. There's a button up on the top right hand side of the ribbon uh, called Bridge Entities. Uh, if you click on that, uh, what you're going to do is click on a start point and an end point. You want to start uh, outside of what you want to bridge and end outside of what you want to bridge. So you can see I have this blue highlighted box. On the right hand side of the, the screen you got the parameters. I can change the width of the bridge. I can even come in here and click and drag on this blue box and move it around. Once you have it in position of where you want to bridge, you'll click the green check mark or enter to apply the bridge. You're, I'm still in bridge mode, so I'll just come over here to this A, click the start point, click the end point, click enter, and I have another bridge. Uh, you'll click the, uh, the bridge button again or click escape to get out, and I have a good part.